there Taurus guess what time it is it is that time for your mid month to April 2019 reading for this current year wait oh my god that doesn't make any sense but it's whatever you know what I was trying to say anyway this is your thunder gnome one so there's gonna be two readings for two people you and the person you're dealing with this goes for sun moon rising and venus taurus so if this resonates with you cool beans if it doesn't don't take too much out on it i still do personal readings if you want one you can hit me up below i don't charge for them but i do have a paypal if you want to donate or whatever okay okay we're gonna see what's going on with you wow i could have been the i think that's the actually the entire stack <laughs> Um, let me see what this says. Oh, yeah, just about the entire layout. Holy shit. Um, someone in this scenario between the two of you has some regrets they can't exactly get over, but they're restricting themselves from saying so. However, they do feel left out in the cold. They want to come back in. They're still not saying so, though. And they're not taking any action, and in fact, they might be wasting some time. As always... In my readings, someone's wasting time. And as a Capricorn, I must say, don't waste my fucking time. That's a no-no, right? <laughs> I hope you take that same kind of stance, Taurus. But I never know about you. But I usually get along with you guys pretty well. Like, Taurus always gets along with Capricorn the best, I think. Um, three cups. Right there. We'll stick that right there since I wanted to pop up. Group one. For anyone who isn't a Taurus... Or a Capricorn. Um, our time is valuable. Like, we like time more than usually we like you. <laughs> just so you know. Not trying to be rude or anything. That's just how we Earth signs work. Like, we value, like, things that, like, aren't actually materialistically... La, 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 la. Materialistically valued. By people who have... Very little regard, I guess. Like, you know, time is just one of those things you can't get back. And it's more valuable. You know, like, I'm getting older every day. My body's breaking down. I ain't got time for your shit. Alright, group one, you got the three of cups first. No whammies. Death reverse. It could be a Scorpio. It's just <laughs> being a Scorpio. Nine of swords reverse. Ooh. Ten of Swords, reverse, that heart of betrayal in this deck. Seeing it right in front of you. The Lovers, reverse, and your obstacles, challenges, what's coming against you. The Emperor, reversed. Jesus, could be dealing with an Aries with an attitude. Four of Swords, reversed. You ain't thinking on it. You ain't taking the time to think on it. You probably even think it is a waste of time to think about it. Right? Ah! Jesus. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you need to make a decision of some sort, scrape one. So we got the three cups here, right? Where it's community, friends, family, having a good old time, party and stuff like that. Yeah, look at that. Open door policy. You, you got a good home. You got someone you can share it with. This could even be considered, in some cases, somebody's twin flame. Like, they're opening the door to let you in to start something new with you, too. So, you might find that with, with, within a, a group of friends or something. You might accidentally run into a person you want to get with. Be like, hey, what you doing? You want to see me, like, centrally crawl onto my desk and write, like, my essay, you know. <laughs> I got, like, ten business ideas, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little sister who's a Taurus, so it's just kind of like... She's going to be really annoyed at that. I have to say, I did not realize how sensual sexual Tauruses can be until I went on vacation with my little sister. And I realized almost her entire playlist is about sex and making out. And it was just kind of like... How did I miss this growing up? You know, I'm like six years older than you, Dan. <laughs> anyway, um, Ten of Swords Reverse. It seems like the situation is someone saw some betrayal right in front of their face. Like it just happened right in front of them. And they got the right idea about it. Just It just resurrected something. Could be anger. I don't know why I'm laughing at this. It's like... 
I don't know. I'm just a little bit giddy. It's just kind of like, ah, okay. Um, but this is like someone caught someone doing something right in front of them. Like, you know, be, like it's it it it, it, it is like <clears throat> that's nice. I don't care. I'm doing this. Um, it's like someone actually watched this person direct the swords. Sure, it looks like they're trying to destroy the swords, but they're only doing it on their side while the swords are falling on this person. And it's just like, there's a witness here, too. And it's like, mm, I see you. I see you. Hold on. Okay, I'm not going text it. And, you know, someone got the right idea. Someone made a judgment call about it. And it was just like, mm. I don't know why I've been so distracted. I don't know if it's the retrograde or what. And, that, and like, the retrograde just, like, messing with me right now. Like, it's supposed to affect the mostly, um, the most, I mean, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn with Sagittarius rising and Aquarius moon. And it is like, I have lost my mind during this time. I don't know how many times I've gotten emotional and cried, and that makes and that, and that just pissed me off because it's just like I hate fucking crying. And my nose is gonna be stuffed up for the next five hours, and then I gotta look like a wet dog face. My face is gonna be all red, breaks out my skin, my tears do because you know feelings and shit. <laughs> but here we got. But as for feelings, we got death reverse, and I feel like someone isn't willing to change. And we got the lovers reverse down here below it in the challenges. What are, okay, yeah, imbalance, possibly dealing with someone with Libra in them, too, since the scales are here, but someone is giving to one person, and they are not being as kind to the person in blue, and the person in blue has even got a ticket, and like the other dude, and maybe that's the problem, maybe somebody is um looking at it as... You have something already. Why do I need to give something to you? But that's not the right way of looking at it. And that needs to change. But it's not. So that's what you want, group two. You don't want to change how you give. Because either you feel like you don't want to give to this person. Because they already have something. And it's just sticking out of their pocket. And you just noticed it. Or whoever you're dealing with. Is not giving you anything. Or what you want because they think that you already have something that's just of equal value. Then we have the lovers reversed. Was that another card turned? Did I miss one? No, I did not. Okay, never mind. The lovers reversed. Possibly a Gemini, a disgruntled Gemini, as I like to say. They are, um. Ah! I didn't get a chance. They're, um. <clears throat> possibly breakup. Between soulmates, possibly break up between anyone. Something didn't come together. Someone might be arguing. Someone might be not as cool anymore. There's no new start in this at all. Like either this breakup isn't happening, or it just there is nothing to begin it. There's not enough like reason or drive or catalyst. Now we got the Nine of Swords in the Fears and Rejection. Someone's definitely had a battle in their brain about speaking their mind. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini again showing up here. Also possibly Libra too. Yeah, someone wants to ride to this person who doesn't want to change and be like, Hey, I got something to say. And they're just like, okay. It's not giving you anything. You already have enough, I feel like, is what's the vibe here. Like, you fear what's going to happen if you speak up? Do you fear that, like, it's still not going to change even if you do talk? Like, you don't want to, like, really think about things. And then we got the Emperor Reverse and the Catalyst as well as the final result, the beginning and the end of the scenario. Yeah, the Emperor. Could be an Aries, and they're being really, really dickish, right? They're being really arrogant. They're being very um, dictatorial. They're being like, you're going to do what I say, whether you want to or not. They're be they're, they're definitely have that, um, taking their authority a little bit too far, I feel like. <sighs> I 
Yeah, you're mentally stuck, but you don't want to think about how mentally stuck you are. Like, trying to avoid it almost. Like, I mean, you can get out of it at a time, you just don't want to. You're not even trying to concentrate on it. You, like, you want to verbalize, but I feel like you're afraid it's not going to change anything. What you want is not going to change. Yeah, there's a lack of a um, offer here. It's actually stalled, stagnated, and it's going towards the past. So it was something back in the day that um, was supposed to be offered, and now it's, like, delayed, stalled, possibly even stopped. And now there's a burden that needs to be lifted here, right? You need to, like, move those sticks so you can, like, put them where they need to go so you can stop this shit. And there's still some illusions that need to be worked on. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, since this is the moon. Um, yeah, someone like a... Is still under some illusions about what's going on here. Like the Emperor is manipulating in the background behind, like, this King of Wands. Just feed, like the, like the masculine feeding in bad ideas. Right? Well, that's group one. So let's move on to group two before I get any more distracted and start giggling like an idiot like I was earlier. I feel like friends are going to tell you something, too. Group one. Or some sort of connection with people is um, going to have an door for you, something to open up to, like communicating with people and having a good time with people really helps you uh, open up and stuff. Ah! All right, group two is your turn. This is just easier than the traditional shuffling because these cards are so big and my hands are like really small. I'm going to tell you, playing guitar with small hands is like a, a, a trip because it hurts. Is it to learn to stretch your hand more than it's supposed to? Oh, yes, you are just throwing your fence all over as the fence. You're not making the fence. You're taking the fence apart and throwing it at your enemies and, and trying to impale their heads. You sharpened it on purpose like they were vampires, and you, you're using your makeshift rubber band cannon to launch it in their face in your defense. The problem is, is that um, you only have so much fence, and there's so many more of them. Yeah, and didn't see those. You definitely got some shit on your mind. That you're trying to get away from. That's just haunting you, right? Okay, let's see. Group two, we got nine of pentacles. Not feeling entirely like yourself. Feeling like a little loss of self. Six of Pentacles for you and your wants and wishes. Shadow person in the background. Two of Pentacles. I almost want to think that... This is reversed, by the way, in the Fears and Rejections. I almost feel like that person in the background needs attention. <laughs> Once again. Someone needs attention. Once again. Someone else is getting attention from this, like, tiger purse, lava tree-footed person who's raining down coin on this chick, but it's like there's someone in the background that's not getting anything. They're not being noticed. Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't matter. If I did it, I was supposed to do it. The alien reverse. Yeah, you're already in a cave with the Nine of Pentacles, and now you're just fucking <laughs> sealing a door around yourself. Like Jesus Christ on Easter. Ah! Uh, justice! Possibly that Libra. Yeah, there's Libra down here. Head over heart decision and your challenges and obstacles coming against you. Your wants and wishes is for balance. The problem is you got to make a decision in order to establish that balance, right? Yeah, you need a fucking decision. All this is saying is like, you don't feel good. You don't want to be around anybody. You need balance, but you need to make the decision about the balance. And... 
you need to make a decision in order to get this balance started to fucking begin with. Like, decision, decision, decision. Like, yeah. Oh. Or, move on without saying a word and just carry a slight burden with you. Seven of Swords. It's like, almost wanting to come back to apologize. Almost wanting to, like, come back and deal with whatever it is you've been dragging behind you. Oh, really? Um, Nine of Pentacles. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Like, you don't feel like yourself. You don't feel like you've gained anything. You feel like you've actually had a loss. Um, you're in a cave by yourself. And you really don't feel like you've established anything that includes your identity. And you can't come to some sort of conclusive decision about that. Two of Pentacles, once again, showing up on the board. I swear to God. Y'all doing your twos, too. That's a lot of twos. That is three twos, just so you know. Look that up. Because... I, there, are, there are specific numbers that mean specific things, and there are three twos here. So I would definitely, like, for some of you, look that up, because it might be important. Like, you know, for me, my numbers are, like, 111 or 1111, which is actually kind of cool, because my birthday is actually 111. <laughs> so it actually plays a great deal of significance for me. So try looking up three twos or... 22, 22, um, it could mean something for you. We got the Alien Reverse down here, which is a Virgo card. And it usually, for me, is like someone staying isolated well past the point of needing to be hermitized to see, to look inside, to like figure things out. No, someone got comfortable being isolated and now they just want to stay isolated. But they still want to offer cups. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type. Knight of Cups. He wants to offer up something. But he's in her mode, so it's like he's not coming out to do it. <laughs> he's like, he's not trying to come out to do it. <clears throat> he wants to, but he doesn't know what to do in order to do this. Like, both people are in this cave, and both of them are unsure of what to do, or how to move out, or get wherever it is they're trying to go, right? Six of Pentacles and Wants and Wishes. Someone is being showered with... Favors while the other person is not. I didn't see that, so I'm not going to call it. Like, I feel like this person in the background, like, they want the attention. They couldn't even be the person in this hermit group, too. Yeah, look at this. It, they want the balance, so they could definitely offer their heart up. Very immaturely. Very childish-like. But still, they're, they're, they're willing to offer. It could even be a really stupid, like, I'm sorry, okay? But they, but they still want to answer it in order to get the balance, right? Or, they feel like that's the only way they can get balance is by having this offer, this apology, this, hello, how are you? <clears throat> like, they feel entitled to this emotion. They feel like that's the only way they can fix it. And it's just like, mm, not necessarily, man. Like, this is all someone wants is just to, like, give their cup out. And I guess that's what they think is um, what's going to bring them balance. Once again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type. Down here is the Justice card. There is a brain and there is a heart. This is Libra's card. Pick one, right? That's, that's the thing. That's the challenge right here. You got to pick one. You can't have your heart and your brain on the same thing. And that's like a very new perspective, I feel, for some of you. Yeah, he has to fucking look at this. He's all over here. He was actually showing up at um, Aries. He showed up twice for both sides in the exact same thing, but for different fucking reasons. So that actually surprised me. But here he is. I, I think that like either you have to make a decision about this um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces type. Or you are trying to control your emotions enough to make a head over heart decision or a heart over head decision. But that's the challenge. Either you're trying to figure out what to do with this motherfucker. Or you are trying to become this motherfucker in order to make this decision. Because you have a lot of decisions to make, man. Like You have four. No, you have three twos. Which I think is like really important. <laughs> 
Then we got two of pentacles over here again. The fears and rejections. Come here. You think that you can't make a decision and you're just waiting because you can't decide. Why is everybody waiting? <laughs> Stop waiting. Oh my god, just do something. Like, waiting is a killer, right? Like, I know karma's slow, but events around it should not be slow either. What the fuck? What are you doing? Oh, it's his towel, not mine this time. But yeah, <laughs> that cat's getting on our towel rack. She's not even supposed to be up there. Um, yeah, someone's waiting to see if they receive something or if what they sent out will come back to them. Well, yeah, that is kind of like, like, is someone afraid that the decision will come back on them and they're just waiting to see what actually happens? Because, like, that's not how it works. Just because you do something does not mean that everything else after it is going to be connected. Yeah, that's a, that, like, like, correlation does not equal causation. You know, I shouldn't have, like, I'm, I'm just saying, I shouldn't have to use that for my psychology class to, like, tell you guys this. Which you should already know. And I, and I don't believe in that confidence, but I feel like some people actually need to hear that. It's just like, you know, if you're waiting because you don't know what to do, pick the harder decision. Pick the one you don't want to happen. Because then... You really don't have to wait for anything. It just happens the way it's supposed to. Um, the worst things we can do to ourselves is, like, deny us a chance of, like, changing something to a significant better. It doesn't matter if it works out or not. It's just the fact that you made a decision. Speaking of making decisions, it looks like the catalyst and the final result will be you coming to some sort of decision with the two swords. Finally coming down with it. You're split in your mind. Much like Libra, the Justice card over here. Yeah, and that's a karma card, too. It's like you're passing judgment on somebody. Or someone's passing judgment on you. What is this? Two of swords. That's not it. Jesus Christ. Oh, come here. I just wanted one. Oof. Okay. Could be Aries or someone in a very um, divine masculine position that's in their whatchamacallit. They're looking for a reason to stay and they're trying to manifest a way to avoid the tower. They're trying to look at their options. Or something, but sorry. They were trying to look at their options, but they're not being very open about things, and they're still not. They're set. Still not being nice. <laughs> so here comes that decision once again. God, that's a lot of cards. There's no reason for you to like just jump out. That okay. Yeah, you gotta make a decision on. Whether or not you should keep looking at someone who came against you, I feel like. Like, someone tried to fight you. Like, not like, I won the battle, not lost the war kind of thing, though. Like, you are the one defending yourself, and that's why people are walking away. That's why they drop their swords, because you have more swords than they do. But you're wondering, I think, whether or not you should look back to see if they come back. That's what the waiting's about. And that's why you don't know what to fucking do. Someone got what they wished for, and now they're regretting it while they walk away. 
<laughs> That's a horrible reason to laugh, but it's like, I need to bring humor somehow. And it's like, that's kind of what I feel like is happening. Like, someone got what they wished for. And now they really regret it. And it's like, if they come back with the Seven of Swords, it's going to be with an apology. Maybe. They're going to maybe tell you a lot about their baggage. And then maybe that's what this um, head over heart decision is about with the justice card down here. That's the obstacle. Maybe they're going to come around and be like, look, I, I got all this shit on my back. And I need to confess to somebody. It's got to be you. You know, like all the baggage that came with their wish. Yep. Yeah, the spying, possibly Libra, um, keeping information out there, looking for a way to cut through things in order to make your fucking way. Try to get to the point. Direct confirmation. Definitely adventurous, though. Oh, here is Taurus. That's you. Um, but you're not happy. You are very much reversed. You're very much being very, um... This is my house. We're gonna do things my way. We're not doing stuff. I'm shutting down. I'm not going to do anything for you. And it's gonna take me at least five years before I think about changing my mind. Right? Um, there might be a lesson needed to be learned here. There might be something that you don't know. Um, there might be a lack of commitment as well with, between this two, especially with that um, justice card here trying to tell you that you need to make a decision of sorts. And then we got somebody not saying anything. Oh, the high priestess. Whatever this scenario of you waiting to make a decision and you looking back on people who came against you and you just making the decision on that and whether you're gonna turn your head or not, I think you're keeping this all to yourself. And you're not speaking much on anything. Group two. All right, um, sorry for being a giggling idiot. Happens. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.